welcome to the promised update video on the Brother QL600B or any other QL600 label printer. You might have it in the red that I can see now on Amazon as well. Um, I think this is going to apply probably to the QL700 as well, any similar 62mm uh, Brother label printer. Um, if you haven't watched the original video, please do check that out first. There should be a link uh, to that video in the top right corner of this video about now. Okay, um, everyone's sticking with this video. So um, firstly, if you're new to the channel, really appreciate you taking a look at this video. Thank you. Please do consider subscribing for more similar content. Uh, you can see some of the other videos that I've started to make here. Um, it really helped me grow the channel and I hope it'll benefit you as well with some interesting content. Um, as usual, if you like this video, if you like any of the others, give them that thumbs up, let YouTube know that they're good videos. Um, and I'm also over on Twitter at MergeDroid. So um, again, if you want to follow there, please feel welcome. But in the meantime, let's get into this video on the Brother QL600. Okay, so since having some success uh, printing a regular postage label for first class standard post, I've tested and refined the process uh, for the print settings um, and uh, been able to actually have success with a uh, signed for uh, delivery. So the difference with signed for um, postage labels versus standard first second class is that as well as having the QR code that must be scannable, they'll also have a barcode on them that must be scannable and readable. And of course, when we're using a label printer like the Brother QL600 that only prints 62 millimeter wide labels, uh, that can be a bit of a challenge compared to the standard size of the Royal Mail um, labels that are significantly larger. Okay, so here's the method um, I use. So first of all, head over to the Royal Mail click and drop service online at send.royalmail.com um, and just as usual, purchase your, your postage there. Um, and then of course that should result in them emailing you or linking you to a PDF that has uh, your postage details in. Once you've got that PDF, if you open it up, um, and apologies, I'm having to use the blurring on this because um, obviously you've got the address and name in plain text, the QR code, which if you do scan, it does contain both the sender and recipient's address um, and similar for the, the barcode as well. But, you know, this is just a regular um, label that I, I printed off. OK, so if you open that up in your PDF um, viewer, so probably something like Adobe Acrobat or here I'm in Foxit Reader. Um, and what we want to do is make this as large as possible as we can on the screen. So what I'm going to do is rotate it left. And then I'm going to zoom in. So you see the zoom settings up here. I'm just going to use the mouse uh, to do that. Keep this in the middle of the window. I think that's probably about as large as I can get it on this screen. OK. Um, and then I'm going to use the uh, the Windows snipping tool. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, if you hold down Shift Windows key and tap S on your keyboard, um, it's going to turn the screen grey and bring you up with this crosshair that if you take it as tight to the, uh, the top of the postage label area as you can, hold down with your left mouse button and just drag that around it. Take it all the way down to the diagonally opposite corner. So you're highlighting all of the label. So the label should turn white like you're seeing here. Again, get as close as you can to it. Then let go. That's going to copy to your clipboard. You see in the bottom right hand corner here, I've just got the notification. Um, so that's now copied. That's great. That's all we really need from this. So then we can go into the P-Touch uh, editor software for the label machine. Um, just pick the new layout, just default blank label. That's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, you don't want uh, any of this. 
and just make sure that your orientation is set to horizontal. You can see it over on the left here in the paper setting. So if you are in vertical, just flip it back to be in horizontal. Um, now all you need to do is paste what we have just copied uh, the label in. So hold down control and tap V. And there we go. That's going to paste in the label. Um, no need to adjust anything any further here. That looks good. And then we're going to open up the print menu. So you can use control P or just come up here into the menu. And then we're going to adjust a few things here. So first of all, click on to properties. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is change this quality setting. So instead of give priority to print speed, we're going to change that to high resolution and then come up to the advanced tab here and we're going to switch to pick this first option for logo and text binary. Uh, and then we're going to make a couple of further settings. So we're going to drag the brightness all the way down uh, to minus 20 and we're going to put the contrast all the way up to plus 20 okay so once we've made those changes you can hit okay and then you're ready to start printing so um, just hit print send that label over to the brother label printer Once you've got your label printed, um, you're going to notice that the QR code and the, um, the barcode should look really clear. Uh, all the text should look good. Oddly, the only thing that's not going to look good is up here in the top right is the uh, delivered by Royal Mail postage paid kind of logo. Um, don't worry about that, though. That's not the, the important bit. The important bit that we're trying to get right here is the, the QR code and the barcode. Uh, so hopefully you're going to get a similar result from your printer following those settings. Um, what I then did actually to give myself some confidence and to test that this um, sort of print setting worked versus some others was to download a uh, QR code and barcode scanner app onto my phone. Um, so here's the one I picked from the Google Play Store. I'm sure they're similar for Apple as well. I'll link this one in the video description. Um, but I installed this on my Android phone and I just checked that I could scan the QR code and the barcode and I could straight away with these print settings and it brings up returns the detail that it's read including things like the uh, the sender uh, their address and the recipient's address as well so this worked really well um, so yeah, that's it guys. That's the, the technique to use. Hope that it's useful. Um, I would suggest trying it with a test package first. Um, also remember that with sign for special deliveries, uh, services that are tracked, basically, you should take them to the post office to post them as they should be scanned in initially. Um, so don't just put them into a letterbox. And obviously, if you do one, check that it all works, um, check that it makes it to its destination. Hopefully that plus this video um, and maybe some others commenting as well can give confidence, but seems to be working really well. I'm really impressed with what I'm able to do on this, you know, budget low end uh, label printer. So yeah, hope it's helpful. Um, do give a thumbs up if the video has been of help to you. And again, please do consider subscribing if you'd like more content like this. Right guys, cheers.